Hi there! Do you want to learn Power Automate and simplify your workflows? In this video, I will share one of the lessons from my Power Automate module on my Udemy course. If you want to access the complete course, check the pinned comment below or become a channel member to unlock all the lessons. Let's get started! Hi there! Now we are going to see what are the types of Power Automate flows. Essentially, we have four types of flows and we are going to see what they are and how we can use them in this lesson. The first one is the automated cloud flow. This flow is triggered by a, an event. For example, when an item is added to the SharePoint list, when an email is received, when a row is added to an Excel spreadsheet, and so on. Everything that can happen and initiate a flow automatically. And we have some examples of things that we can do using this type of flow. For example, send an email when a new item is created in SharePoint. Let's say you have an app to request vacations or to request reimbursements. And then when someone requests and creates that item in SharePoint, you can send an email to the responsible person for them to know about it or even to approve or reject. We can use automated flow to automatically save Outlook attachments to OneDrive or to SharePoint folders. So every time a new email arrives, we can check if the email has some attachment and also who sent the email or the subject. We can put several rules and if one of those rules is the one we created, then it will save that attachment to a folder. We can also create a flow to create a new task on Planner from some events that are created on Teams or in the other way, we can send a notification on Microsoft Teams when a new item is created in a planner. We can automate notifications or actions when a form is submitted. We can create a form with Microsoft Forms and every time that someone answers the form, we can do automations. And another example is updating a CRM record when there is a new contact in the Excel spreadsheet or a SharePoint item or a, a new email from someone that's new arrives, since we can create this flow to keep listening to all those events and take actions when they happen. These are examples of an automated flow, and we are going to learn through the course. Next type of flow is the instant cloud flow. Those are flows that can be triggered manually as needed. You can create the flow, and when you need those actions to happen, you can go there and trigger the flow. Some examples, sending an email to, to a specific group by clicking in a button. So you can have the button to press it and it will trigger the flow that will send the email. We can generate a sales report manually with one button. So we create the flow to generate the report, extracting the data from the sources, combining them and sending in the email. And we just press the button and everything will happen. Another example would be recording working hours by clicking a button. We can have a flow with a button that's on our, our smartphone that when we press, it records the hour that we press that button. And we can use that to track the working hours by simply pressing that button. Or the last example is update a SharePoint list data. We can have a flow that we run and when we run, we provide some parameters, some values that are going to be written in a SharePoint list. The next type of flow is the scheduled cloud flow. You can choose when and how often this flow is going to run. When we are going to create this flow, we can set up when this flow is going to run. If it's going to be daily or weekly or every five minutes, every one hour or every Monday. So we can configure exactly when are the times that this flow is going to run? And here we have some examples that's sending a weekly summary of planner activities. This flow can run every week, collect all the activities from the planner, summarize and send in an email. Or we can perform daily backups or sh of SharePoint files. This flow can run every day, get all the files or all the items in a list and save in another list or another library. We can use this flow to send automatic meeting reminders every week. So we can configure that every week on Thursday, we are going to send a reminder to everyone one hour before our meeting time. 
so they get reminded and know that they need to be there in one hour. Or we can have a flow that updates a contact list weekly with new data. Imagine we have Excel spreadsheets that we put in a OneDrive folder, and then we have a weekly flow, and then we have a flow that we run every week, collecting all the rows and inserting in another system or in a SharePoint list or in a database. And lastly, we could have a flow that perform weekly folder security checks. We can have this flow, for example, check the folders in a SharePoint library and see if this folder is shared with someone else that should not have access and then warn someone and many other actions that we can execute. And then we have the last one that we are not going to cover on this module because this is a complete different tool. Those are RPA flows, Robotic Process Automation. We create a flow in a software that's installed on our computer that will do tasks that we can do on our computer, accessing softwares, websites, files, and so on, and doing actions that we can program action by action as if it were a human doing those tasks, clicking and typing and doing several actions. For example, actions that can be done with these are automate data extraction from a legacy system, for example, systems that cannot be connected through API calls, and we need to enter the system doing the login and click on the things to extract data, we could do this using Power Automate Desktop. The second example is the same thing I just mentioned, login to a desktop application and extract data. Third one, copy information from Excel and paste into the ERP system. Imagine you have an Excel that we have to get row by row and paste all the fields in a system because we don't have other type of integration. So you can automate that using a desktop flow. Also automatically fill forms in a local application. That's basically the same thing. And the last example, download reports and automatically organize them into folders. You can, for example, have a RPA that logs in in a website, extracts reports and saves them in a folder. This folder may be synced with a SharePoint document library, and then you can have cloud flows that get data and treat them. So as we can see, Power Automate gives us a lot of exciting opportunities to automate repetitive tasks. There are several types of flows, and we are going to cover on this module the three first type of flows, automated cloud flows, instant cloud flows, and scheduled cloud flows. In the next lesson, we are going to review what are the connectors, the types of connectors, the standards, and the premium ones. See you in there. Do you want to watch the classes without any interruptions? By becoming a channel member or purchasing the course, you can watch ad-free and support the future of my content creation. Check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get started. See you in the next lesson.